it's a zen-like experience because it's very like you're one-on-one. -on -one. It's just you and the cat enjoying grooming. So. Yeah, and you really can't be thinking of anything else while you're licking your cat with Licky Brush because you have to be focused, you know, to the cat's needs and, and how it's feeling in the moment. You two, your husband and wife, is that right? That's correct. Do you two mutually groom each other <laughs> as humans? <laughs> no. No, maybe we should try that. Yeah, we should. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why we haven't thought of that. Yet. Now, uh, yeah, I understand that you are bringing a new Licky Brush partner into the family. It's true. We've produced um, a new cat person in my stomach. And uh, she is probably going to be born in about a month. Oh, wow. Yeah. So she has lots of cat paraphernalia that everyone we know has lots sent us, which is cats. wonderful. Yeah. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Um, and we fully expect her to join in on the business, you know, and, and help come help us come up with new ideas. How many cats do you guys have at home right now? Just three. Just three. Yeah. And their names are? Chestnut, Bruce, and Sammy. Named after? Oh, um... Chestnut came with her name. Bruce was not named after anyone. Sammy is a play on samskara, which is like a, a word that's used in the yoga community to refer to your um, tendencies in life, like your natural neural groove patterns. Oh. And ours is that we tend to accumulate cats.